Hi, I'm Jared Zerilli. I'm Whitney Basher. This is Luna Zerilli. And this is the story of our, of our first, first date. date. The year was 2013. Yes. And we met at the O'Neill. In the summer. Uh, at the yeah. O'Neill Summer Theater uh, for musical theater shows. And when you go and you work at the O'Neill, you, you're there for like 10 days, 12 that, days. Yeah, yeah. And you rehearse in this barn and you stay at Connecticut College in these really dormy dorms yeah. and it's like summer camp. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm impressed that we were able to, to kick off a romance with the size of those beds. Yeah. They were very small. <laughs> and, uh, but we made the best of it. We and did. it's just the kind of thing where it's like, it's like actor summer camp in the best way. Yeah, it's like Luke. the happiest place an actor can be. I knew I wanted her after two days. Hmm. Yeah, it was like a magical time. It was getting to know each other and like learning what each other's passionate about, our connection with our families. I just, I have a very vivid memory of, like I said, being very physically attracted. And so we went back to those small dorms and all I wanted to do was, was kiss for the first time. That's oh, all I wanted yes. to do. And a beloved actor friend of ours named Chris McCarroll just was the ultimate roadblock to to what I was hoping yep. to do. And he was, we were literally, Whitney and I were sitting together next to each other, like, just like high schoolers, to, yeah. just trying to sit and talk and like have a second alone. And and Chris was just standing in the doorway like, what are you guys hey doing? Hey guys, what's going How on? How are you? What's up? What are you guys going to do tonight? And I'm just like, this, I'm going to freaking kill this kid because he's really getting in the way. But then eventually he left. And that's not our first date. Tell him what our actual, I guess, first so date was. When you work at the O'Neill, you're very close to the ferry that takes you to Block Island. Mm -hmm. So we had one day off and we decided to take the ferry to Block Island, which if you've never been, mm. it's one of the most magical places in the world. So our first date was actually a day on Block Island where we rented a Vespa mm -hmm. and we scooted around Block Island and we went to beaches and just like enjoyed a day in the sunshine. <sighs> Yeah, and was... we go back there every summer now. It's yeah. like our happy place. And she just came with us for the first time. This summer was her first time to Block Island. So it's become like a really special place <laughs> for us. Within a week after leaving the O'Neill, I remember it was when I was in Long Island and you were in the city. I was at mom's house. And just us saying, we don't, we want this to keep going. We want to invest in this and we want to make it work while I'm on tour. And, and that's what we did for a year. It was like a clear example of that thing your mom tells you when you're dating. She's like, honey, it'll happen when you're not looking. And you think, thanks mom, that's really, really <laughs> helpful. But it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> so the first year of our relationship was, was long distance. Yeah. Jared was on the road and I was uh, in Williamstown and then was doing bridges mm -hmm. in the city. So it was a lot of like making time for each other on days off. We would buy plane tickets, we mm -hmm. would travel. She would come stay with me in some cities mm -hmm. for a bit of time, she was in between. And, uh, and I moved in as soon as I was done with tour. I came back and I moved in. So we got married May 13th of 2017. Luna was born March 6th of 2018. She came right out. So we did the first year big. Yeah. We got married, got pregnant, Yep. had a baby. And then just like two months ago, bought, bought our first house. Yeah. So, so we're really just really going big. Yeah. <laughs> two cars, one baby, a lot of love. Yeah. 